What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guys, I'm out here on a Friday, all right? I'm out here after school, after work. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I am a school teacher, all right? So I'm out here in the evening. Now, y'all know me, I normally do my fishing, you know, Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings. I'm usually a morning fisherman, but today we got a lot of rain coming, I think this weekend. So today is a beautiful day, guys. It's about a five mile an hour wind. The lake is pretty calm. So I wanted to come out here and try these crappie this evening. I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers, guys. If you haven't, there is the giveaway video right there. And it's on the channel. All you gotta do is go follow the steps, make sure you're subscribed, and you'll be entered to win an eight foot ACC crappie sticks and many, many, many other prizes, guys. As soon as we hit that 30,000 subscriber mark, we're gonna go live on the channel and we're gonna be giving away a lot of items. But if you haven't hit that subscribe button, right now is the time to do it. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much, God bless you. You know I would not be doing this without you guys. I'm gonna try my best to get on some crappie for you guys this evening. Right now, the water temperature is sitting at about 85 degrees. So guess what? Two weeks ago, and for the past two months, that water temp has been sitting at 88 to 91 degrees. We got a good little drop in the water temperature. So hopefully these crappie will start going shallow to these shallow brush tops. Fall transition hopefully is about to start happening, but we're gonna see what happens this evening, guys. Y'all stay tuned. All right. Let's see what we can do, baby. It's gonna be interesting today. Yeah, like I mentioned in the intro, guys, it's it's about 85 degrees right now, but the humidity, oh my gosh, look at there. I just threw it out there. Oh man, look at there. Might be a keeper fish. Not keeping fish today, guys, but like I was saying, the humidity today is ridiculous. It's about 85 degrees, but it feels like 95, I mean, that humidity is adding 10 degrees. Look at that minnow, guys. He's beat up, but that's my first cast today in a fish. I'm gonna throw it right back over there. I didn't even move it. Try and talk to you guys a little bit and bam. Let's see what we got. Can we get catch another one off that minnow? I will say the conditions today are perfect, guys. We got about a five mile an hour wind. I can't even tell where it's coming from. Southeast, I think, and it is perfect out here today. The whole lake is like glass. It is a little warm, but at least it's not 95, 100, and feels like 105. So I'll take it all day. Now, there's about two to three brush tops right here, right just kind of in a circle. I'm gonna try to see which ones I have the best luck on today. I found these brush tops not too long ago, and it's weird how people set these out. I mean, these are I mean, they're kind of in a circle. It's it's kind of crazy. Got to figure out which one of these tops has the, the better fish. Now, some of them, about two of, two of the tops are in deeper water. They put them right on a, uh, a drop off, which is very typical. Then they put a few of them in, in shallower water. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds almost. It's kind of, you, you can see where those fish are hanging at in one spot. Are they shallower or are they deeper? Come on, fish. Oh, there he is with the waves. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. I'm about to get blown away by the waves here, but. <laughs> Look at that crappie. Oh, that's a good one. That, that's a big old fish. That's, that's a good 13 inches, guys. Wow, stupid wake boat came by, about knocked me over, but as soon as that, as soon as those waves came through, it started hitting. Look at there. Throw that one back. Oh, there's another fish. Oh. Look at that black. Is that a black crop? Uh-oh. Look like they're starting to get their fall colors, guys. Fall colors, baby. Stop it, feisty. I don't even think he would make 10, but look at there. Them black crop, you're starting to get their gold, golden little specks for the fall time that's what i'm talking about all right guys i'm fishing about 10 foot deep right now 
the water temperature right now is about 85 degrees it should either stay around that temperature or it should start falling because we had a weird summer here in texas guys june and july were the hottest almost record-breaking months then all of a sudden in august at the end of august it kind of slowed down a little bit which is weird we're in september and the temperatures are kind of staying steady right now yeah guys i'm only fishing about 10 foot deep right now now the water over there is is about 15 foot deep I'm telling you when this water temperature starts to cool down these crappie love to start feeding all right they've been hot during the summer they've been in that real more than likely deeper water probably haven't been eaten as much but now the water temperature is cooling off the top layer of the water is cooling off so there's crappie are starting to come up a little shallower and it could be some good times guys fall crappie oh my god look at there look at there look at there right there beside the boat and look guess what little keeper white crappie right there guys little keeper white he's probably right at 10 inches right at 10 throw that one back throwing that minnow out working it to me i'm seeing where that strike zone is where am i getting those bites so i'm going to throw a little past it and then i'm going to bring that bait into the strike zone is is what i like to call it caught two fish right there caught about three or four fish really quick you know two or three keepers y'all saw and then i caught about three or four smaller fish i don't know i don't know what to think about that that's one thing with these brush tops guys a lot of people give up on them too early and what i mean by that is they'll pull up to the brush top they'll fish it for five ten minutes and then they don't catch no fish they move well they didn't even you know dissect the brush pile go deeper go shallower uh they could have been inches away from a lot of fish instead of trying those different things they just move and what i really noticed is you got to dissect these brush tops you can't just fish them for that short amount of time and then move especially a place like this right here where there's three or four right back to back to back you got to fish all of them one of them may be holding those really really good fish you just never know all right oh there he is oh that's a good fish oh that's a real good fish look at that that's a good crappie guys god i hope he ain't getting that on the camera guys that is a good fish that's a solid 12 12 and a half maybe right there nothing wrong with that oh man take that any day all right guys y'all already know threading technique baby through the mouth out the gill i'm turning that minnow and i'm hooking it right in the side right there that minnow is able to move and you're able to catch multiple fish off of that one minnow all right guys what i like to do in this situation right here since there's so many brush tops in a small area and they're not just right beside each other they're, they're kind of spread out around a little bit what i like to do is i like to fan cast is what i call it i'm going to fan cast over here bring it back go two to three feet to the left bring it back two or three feet to the left bring it back to see what lane i need to fish in where where am i going to be more successful with the bites that way you cover a lot of water and you can really figure out exactly where you need to cast at as well all right guys i went about a foot deeper stopped getting bites caught a few little small fish so i went about a foot deeper and i'm going to fish these same areas these same tops but i'm going to go about a foot deeper now and just see what happens oh oh and there he is i don't know if it's small oh it's probably about a 10 look at there now the way to really test that theory look at that minnow guys i'm going to throw it back out there by that may be 10 we'll see but let's see if caught that one at went about a foot deeper i mean i just threw it in that spot a foot shallower two or three times in a row and did not get bit i went a foot deeper on this slip cork setup and caught a fish let's see if there's another one i got hung up on that brush top had to retie my leader and my and my hook 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slightly to the right. Instead of fishing on top of that pile, I'm going to try to go deeper on the sides of it. You just never know when these crappie will start transitioning for their fall pattern. And what I've seen in the past, usually when that water temperature gets lower 80s, upper 70s, anytime in that little window, that is where these crappie should start going shallower. Now, I don't mean shallow, guys. Now, I've heard some riffraff about a crappie spawn that happens in the fall, and I can tell you right now that is not true. Wait, bluegill just came out of nowhere. There he is. Oh, that's not a bluegill. No, sir. That's a good fish. It's a good white crappie right there, guys. Still got that minnow. There's a good keeper little fish right there. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Not a giant, but I mean, that's a solid eater right there. That last crappie right there took that minnow out of that bluegill's mouth because I know that was a bluegill tapping that over and over there for a second. I will say this, guys. The fish are not stacked up over here. They're, they're just not stacked. You know, I've caught some good fish off this pile, off these piles, but if they were stacked, I mean, I should have caught 15 fish by now and i haven't and i've caught a lot of i've caught just as many small fish as i have keeper fish so that tells me those bigger fish still haven't came together yet all right guys check this out if he will will cooperate with me look at that guys that crappie's um just a hair shy of 14 and a half inches 14 and a half incher now what i'm going to do is I'm gonna set this camera up for you guys. So Runzel sent me their new scale, all right? Here it is right here, their new digital scale right here. Um, this is a 14 and a half inch crappie, but I guarantee you it don't even weigh a pound and a half. It's real skinny for some reason, but um, let's see what this fish weighs. All right, guys, we got the scale at zero right here. Nice digital scale from Runzel, like I said. We're gonna push push that in there look at that guys 1.09 hopefully y'all can see that right there 1.09 that's a 14 and a half inch crappie and it's weighing 1.09 one one basically that's not good guys for that to be a 14 and a half inch crappie and that fish what barely weighs over a pound that's skinny and he does i knew he was skinny when i pulled him up out of the water but i mean look at that mouth that should be a pound and a half fish easy right here. But guys, this Runcel scale right here, I'm telling you, go to Runcel.com, code 903FISHIN will get you a 15% off your entire order. Nice scale. I'm, I'm really digging the scale right here, guys. It also comes with a, a lipper, is what I like to call them. You get those big catfish right here. Big old catfish are, are, are easy to lip grab right here. I don't see myself using these crappie fishing necessarily, but those are great. Those come with it. They also come with a little screwdriver and they also already come with batteries to uh, go ahead and get you out on the water and ready to waste some fish. So y'all be sure to go check that out. Runcel.com, R-U-N-C-L. Y'all be sure to use code 903 fish -M to get you 15% off your entire order. Let's get back to fishing. All right, guys, like I said, for this fish to be 14 and a half inches and only weigh a 1.1, that's not very good. This fish needs to get healthy. So let's go ahead and let her go. 1.1 on the scale. There she goes. See ya. All right, guys, let's get this ACC crappie stick back in the water. I'm really digging that digital scale from Runcel. Y'all be sure to go check them out on their website. Very reasonably priced as well. I knew when I pulled that crappie up out of the water, he wasn't going to weigh that much. I knew he was a big crappie as far as lengthwise, but I just knew when I saw him, come out i knew he didn't weigh that much 14 and a half is, is a good crappie but i just couldn't believe how skinny that fish was it's almost like it hasn't been eaten well guys sorry for no hook set but that's another decent white crappie right there after that big one about 10 eh, about 11 inch or so throw that back now i'm fishing the pile that's back behind i caught about three or four keepers off of this one right here right in front of me then i remember there being another one back there so i'm casting out back there and just running it across it just seeing what i can do 
All right, guys, y'all already know, eight foot ACC crappie stick, super grip. All right, this is my slip corking rod. Of course, I have my slip cork set up. A question that I've been asked a lot lately is, what bobber stops do I use? These are the bobber stops that I use, guys. The yarn on the black tubes, okay? And the little tiny beads come with it. I get these at Walmart or Academy, relatively cheap. As y'all can see right over here, I have my slip cork and tackle box right here, okay? This is all I need for slip corking right here. Corks, split shots, barrel swivels, two watt crappie hook right here, Aberdeen um, Eagle Claw, and then of course the bobber stops right there. So this is all I need when I'm slip corking crappie right here. I guarantee you these corks, barrel swivels, split shots, hooks, and bobber stops and beads, I bet they're no more than seven or eight dollars right here you know, to go ahead and get you started on that slip cork setup. That's that's all you need, guys. And we're talking an inexpensive setup to catch a lot of fish. Y'all know me, no live scope. So I'm either slip corking in the big lake, like I am right now, or I'm in the creeks and I'm slip corking. Shallow. Either way, I'm slip corking. Uh, and, and that's how I catch 95% of my crappie is with this slip cork setup right here. There he is. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that crappie. Look at that. That's a keeper, too. That's a keeper fish. See, I slide that minnow right back down on there. A little 10 and a half, 11 inch crappie. Guess what? We're going to throw it back out there. Oh, guys, I almost, I almost dove in after my sunglasses. You know what? But I forgot. This is what I forgot. Sometimes I forget what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Runzel Billy floatable sunglasses, and guess what? They float. All right, so let me go ahead and grab those before they get too far away from me. I had these on my head, and when they fell in the water, I about jumped, dove in after them, but I remembered they're floatable, baby. Those are the Billy Runzel floatable sunglasses, guys. You can go pick these up at runcel.com as well. I'm telling you, Runcel has some great products out there. Y'all be sure to use code 903FISHM to get you 15% off your order. And these right here also look good when you're wearing them. So y'all be sure to go check them out. All right, family, that's gonna wrap up this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. You know what? The fall crappie bite, I say in the next two to three weeks is gonna be on and popping. And like I mentioned in the video, last fall, Hannah and I did really, really well in late September and October. I will say usually there is a about a week period or so where these crappie are in transition and they're not on deep brush and they're not on shallow brush yet really. They're actually making their way from those deeper brush tops to those shallower brush tops. So hopefully we can find these crappie next time I'm out here. I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, right now is the perfect time to do it. Like I mentioned earlier, the 30,000 subscriber giveaway video is up on the channel. Be sure to follow all the steps to make sure you're entered to win an eight foot ACC crappie sticks and also some Billy Runcel floatable sunglasses like you just witnessed and many, many other items, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. If you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you so much for all the likes, comments, and shares. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Don't forget that channel memberships are now available. All you gotta do is hit that blue little join button beside that subscribe button. Come join, be a channel member today. A great way to support the channel and to keep this content rolling. And don't forget that 903 Fishing merch is now available. Both of those links are gonna be in the description of this video. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.